Good evening, uh, YouTubers. Come on in. It's late night, but I got something for y'all. I got some beauty tips for you. As I told you before, my daughter and son are here visiting, and she shared a few beauty tips with me. You know, we can always use some beauty tips. So we're going to talk about using some pure aloe vera on the skin just to, you know, smooth that skin out to make it feel and look good. Uh, Lisa's going to show us how to do that. So uh, take a watch here. And you may have already seen this, but I just want my viewers to see this because it works well. And she'll share a couple of things with you outside of what I'm going to talk to you about right now. First of all, uh, I sh I'm sure uh, you've seen the large aloe leaves or limbs or whatever you want to call them. That's like what Lisa is holding up there. Uh, they come in a long stem. And one of the things that you do when you purchase that, before you use it for any purpose, you go ahead and wash it off really, really good with soap and water, right, Lisa? Yes. Wash it really good. And once you get it washed really good, you take those little thorny things off of there, and then you just cut it into pieces, and you just shave it down the size like she's doing right there. And then you cut your piece off, and she's going to take that green part off of there and what we want is the inside part that gel part Lisa's going to show you how you take it out of the center there you just simply like she's holding it like so or if you find a different way to do it, of course yes. like anything that I show you anything that you want to do to modify it to make it your own is fine we, yes. the ultimate goal is to get that inside part out right it's really slimy okay yeah she said it's real slimy so uh not to worry that's part of what aloe is and it's so pretty see yeah. you see the slime yeah huh so this is what it looks mm -hmm. like so that's really what it looks slime. like once you get it out and uh you're gonna get you a nice clean baggie and whatever's left over you're gonna put it in you're gonna keep your leftovers in a separate baggie and what she's taking out of there you're gonna put it into a baggie a clean baggie I'm just okay going get this off my hand. Okay, she, just hang on just a minute. And y'all know I want to talk, so I'll stand here and talk to you while she... Yeah, you take all of the, uh, that inside part out of there, and what she's going to do is put it into that bag, and she'll give us the next step. And just, it's a real simple process, and she's going to show you what you do with it after you get it out of the bag. So now she's got it into the bag. Let me get my camera up here. There it is. Okay, she's got it in the bag right there. Okay, a nice piece. So now she's going to show you the next step. Okay. Okay, so I seal the baggie, but I leave a little out so the bag does not pop. Okay. Let some hair come out. And I just use a Listerine, an empty Listerine bottle as a tenderizer or hammer what do you want to call it yeah we're just it what she what you need is something whatever you have and she happened to have a listerine bottle yeah and she's gonna pound it and beat it and pulverize it until it breaks down completely into a smoother gel because uh, and then because you'll understand it when you see the next step you see how that's all smoothed out and she's pulverized it and it's down into a nice gel just continue to beat it until there's no lumps in there exactly. because it's going to become a paste almost if you will and well, it's, well it's won't exactly gel. be a paste it'll be right. a slimy gel that you're going to use and then the next step you'll understand why you beat it down to almost a liquid but it's you know because it's slimy it looks more like a gel um, and as you know, you know, aloe vera has been around for a long, long time. I've used aloe vera for a lot of things over time. And we ain't claiming to be doctors or nothing like this. This is just something uh, that we stumbled across, and I thought it was share worthy. So I'm sharing it with you. So you're going to beat that down into that bag and see what it looks like. It looks foamy and jelly like. It's all the way down to a, a liquid form. So we got that done. Now. Right, she's going to, okay, like you see how she's turned the bag inside out, and you make it just like a glove, make it look like a glove. Now, the other thing that she has done, too, is that before she does what this step that she's doing right now, she's cleaned her face because it's going to go onto her skin, and she's going to explain to you what led her to using this particular uh, method of helping her skin. Oh. 
Okay, the reason why I went to the aloe vera uh, plant gel is because I had irritated my skin so much, the skin around my eyes so much to where I had black spots or dark circles, excuse me, dark circles around my eyes. And I will show you a before and after picture. Okay. Um, my skin was just so irritated. It burned. It was very sensitive. I could not put anything on my face because it was so irritated. And so I decided, hey, I, hey, I have to do something. I put the aloe vera gel on my face about 1130 at night and about five o'clock the next morning, I'm getting ready for work. I washed my face, looked in the mirror, and it was totally clear. So I'm going to run and get my tablet and show you the picture. I just hold on this minute. I want y'all to see how pretty she is. She's a pretty girl, pretty skin, and she's going to show you the before and after pictures of her. So y'all hang on now. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Okay, now these are the before pictures of Lisa. Look at her eyes. See the dark circles around her eyes and the wrinkles. See, she's closed her eyes, and you see how wrinkly her eyes are around there. Irritated. Just yeah. in a complete mess. I mean, it, it was just, and she's a pretty girl, and you imagine she's beautiful and fair skin, and she had all that going on around her eyes. And these are the before pictures now. And the interesting thing is that she says she put it on like 11 o'clock at night, and by 5 o'clock, the next no, morning, no, five hours. Five. Later. I'm sorry, five hours later, she had to get up and go to work. So, she washed the aloe vera off of her face. And this is what it looked like. And that's what she looked like the next morning. Now, this is look, look y'all know this is Miss Peggy. This is my daughter-in-law. This is a real business. Five hours after she used the aloe vera. Exactly. So I'm not landing a claim to anything. Just, you know, use it if you will. Uh, if you've heard somebody say it and you doubt it, take it from me. It's for real. Okay, I was shocked. And I said, I'm not putting anything else on my face. Aloe vera is my best friend. But anyway, picking up where we left off. This is how I do it. And I do what works for me, so you do what works for you. But I just take the whole thing, and it's a lot, but I use a lot. And I just, and it does not burn the skin at all. And so I just take it and just start rubbing it all over my face. And it is slimy. If you get it in your eyes, it's okay. I massage it in the corner of my eyes. And I use my, I'm right-handed, so I use my right hand to wash my face with it and I, and I pull it with my left hand. And I just go in the corners of my eyes. If you get it in your, the edges of your hair, it's okay. I put it all over. It'll leave your face feeling um, nice and cool. It feels pretty good. Also, as it dries on your skin, it'll be really tight. So I have to do facial exercises. I'll tell you what, we have some natural things that's lying around. You know, you think about in the days before we had anything else going on, these are the type of things that we use to so, cleanse and clear skin. So, okay, and those plates to, that I was using to um, sand my face, you know, the plates. Oh, okay, the ones like that mm -hmm. are right there on the end of that counter where those silver pans are. We're in the kitchen, y'all. Look, I just got through cleaning my kitchen up from Sunday dinner. 
So oh. we still at it. So we in, we still in the kitchen. Y'all recognize where we are. So <laughs> okay, and so you can grab whatever a uh, hand fan, a church fan, a paper plate, <laughs> right? Yeah, whatever. Paper plate. And I just I let this air dry on my face. I do not. I I go to work with it on. Um, I sleep in it. I don't wash it off. And so this is what I do. And by the way, Lisa is a registered nurse, so you know, she is has been using I, this. Um, so Yeah. I um doing the facial exercises, um, not trying to be crazy, but just to stretch my skin out because it feels really tight. I can't wait to try. I haven't tried it yet. So oh, I, my God. I, I'm, it works wonders. Yeah, I'm going to try it before I go to bed tonight. But I wanted her to just go through this demo so that I could share it with you all. And if any of y'all want to try it, you know, you can see the befores and afters. Now, my daughter Tansy has, for whatever reason, she's fair skinned just like Lisa. And she has the dark circles around her eyes as well. And she's going to uh, try it. So maybe we can get her, if we can lasso her. Uh, to be home long enough because uh, she travels all over the place working. Uh, we can get her to do it before and after so that you, because you all know Tansy, I've seen her on YouTube. I don't have any uh, circles or anything like that, but I am going to try it and I'm going to video my before and after uh, skin and see what changes it does to my skin just so that I can share. So, you know, there are many, many things that we have uh, right at hand that will cost us basically nothing um, to do. Like I said, we're not uh, professing to be doctors or, or, you know, anything like that or skin specialists. We're no. just everyday lay people who came upon something um, that could be used uh, to help the skin. Yes, I found this works wonders for my skin because my skin is very sensitive and I have tried everything from A to Z on my skin. So my face is still kind of wet, but um, as it dries, as it dries, your skin will feel dry and to bring the moisture back in your face or my face, um, I have um, figured out black castor oil and the jojoba oil together. I mix those two together in a bottle. It works for me. Mix them together in a bottle. This is my black castor oil with the jojoba oil in it. And I mix it. And then I take it the same way I did the aloe vera plant, turn it inside out. Put a couple of drops, put a couple of drops on here, and rub it on my face like lotion. Same way, same step. And none of it burns. It doesn't get any simpler than that, folks. And for the end results is remarkable. That's right. And for any of you out there, maybe some of you who are tuning in, you may have uh, used this and already know about it. If you do, most certainly when you uh, look at this uh, video, please give me some feedback and let me know, um, you know, your experiences or your testimonials with using uh, the aloe because... It seems some of our reasons is back on the market now because I had been looking for an aloe vera plant for ever seemed like. And every time I went to look, there were none to be found. And all of a sudden, uh, Tanya and I were out the other day and I was able to find one, uh, just a small aloe vera plant. And then lo and behold, here comes my son and daughter to visit this weekend. What does she have? This big old aloe vera plant that she's using to uh, 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 treat her skin. So, you know, it all kind of came full circle for me. And I wanted to um, share it with Tansy, of course. But when I saw 
the the uh like just like with Lisa's face, I saw tens and I said, My goodness, what's going on? And she said, Mom, I don't know, not really. You know, it just happened. And like I said, she's fair skinned and it really stood out. So she's gonna try it. Um hopefully uh before she leaves back out for work tomorrow morning, she's gonna try it and hopefully it'll work for her within five hours like it did with Lisa. Uh so we're oh, gonna see God, and wonderful. yeah. So, you know, like I said, she is a and she, see how simple it is? It's just a matter of, and I, most of us wash our face at night. So this this will just be one added thing to our right. regimen for washing our face. So certainly uh, we know the aloe vera is a natural uh, plant. You know, it grows naturally uh, out of nature. So there's no m medical or chemical thing in it. So anyway, so if for anybody that wants to try it, you know, give it a shot. For those of you who have tried it, give me some feedback and let me know how it's worked for you. Uh, if you have some questions, or uh, if you give me the feedback before Lisa leaves, I'll try to get you an answer, you know, as, as far as, you know, just how she felt what, like that. And that's as far as she can go with that. Because, again, we don't profess to be a uh, medical profession except for Lisa is a registered nurse. She's not a, a, a what do you call it, ex, what do you call it, esthetician. <laughs> no, specialist. Later. No, she's not a face. She's not a skin. No. She's not a dermatologist. Dermatologist, dermatologist, specialist. Whatever. Ooh, y'all! It's late night, y'all. I've been in this kitchen all day, and I'm just about to get out. But I wanted to do this because I know Lisa and them are going to be leaving on Tuesday, and I got a full day tomorrow of just stuff, and I need to rest a little bit. So I just wanted to get her to show you. Um, because something like this, if I tried to tell you, it would just be me giving a secondhand testimony for her to stand before you and show you her before and after pictures. Thank you, Lisa, because not a lot of people would share that because nobody wants to wants us to see them, um, you know, when they don't look their very, very best. Well, and most certainly yeah. uh, when her eyes cleared up, she was ready yes, to share I, that. I was desperate and I would help and share it with anyone because I was desperate i had it also works well to heal the skin mm -hmm. i had scratched i had scratched the corner of my eye and i put the aloe on it and it healed it right away so mm -hmm. and i've had you know in the past you know different things with aloe i've already known always known aloe was a natural healing uh type of plant so again we don't profess any kind of you know professional license as far as dermatology is concerned but we are professionals in our own rights but we just wanted to share um this experience with you ladies if you need to use it or if you have questions about it i'll certainly try to answer whatever i can and, and so will lisa lisa thank you i appreciate you i love you i love you too mom for uh sharing that with us and this was nothing but god that sent I mean, something like this, because like I said, I've been praying about it uh, on Tansy's behalf. Had no idea what was going on with Lisa until she got here this week right. and shared that information. I thank you for um, being obedient to the Holy Spirit, because I, I think it was a divine thing that happened in the way of uh, getting that information, because I certainly didn't know anything about it. I knew aloe vera did a lot of things, but I had no idea um about that and you know my baby girl has that issue around her eyes and hopefully i can get a video out of her before she leaves but if not i uh, will do it later on so listen you guys thank y'all for tuning in for listening uh when you view this video give me some feedback and as usual keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down so until i find something to share with y'all again you guys i'm going to bed to lou good night thanks lisa i love you appreciate you love you too and I was trying to say... Footnote, y'all. We had a little footnote to add. Okay, about washing your face. Cold water. Okay. Before. And then after we um, do the aloe vera and the um, black castor oil and jojoba oil, if you feel that your face is too oily, shiny, greasy, or whatever, you can just dab it. Just dab the excess off. But I go to work with it on. I, I don't wash my face. No. Okay, to add very good. On. So she just, that's just an extra footnote because all y'all beautiful ladies that don't have to wear makeup, you can know you can just go all natural all the way. So again, keep the prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Toodaloo.